Hi everyone, welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop, and today we're making this sign. This is a Father's Day gift for my son who loves fishing. I designed this in easel, and I used several different techniques to be able to do it. I used the combined feature to combine these two portions together. I also used the Offsetter app, and of course I used the letters from the easel software. So everything was designed in easel. Also, in a previous video, show you how I laminated the two pieces of wood together, and I'll put a link to that up top. Let's go ahead and get started making this sign today. The first thing that I did is opened up a new window in easel and I set my dimension for my workpiece at 22 by 16. Now I'm not going to be cutting all the way through so half inch is fine. To make this design go a little bit faster I'm going to pull in all of the components first and then we're going to place them and work with them. So I'm going to go up to my icons, select that and I'm going to go over here and select this banner and we're going to be using this banner. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it off to the side for the moment. The other thing I'm going to be using is a circle. So I'll grab the circle and bring it into play. And the last thing I'm going to be doing is using the fish logo that I pulled off of Google and I brought it into Inkscape. And there I changed it into the vector file saved it as an SVG and brought it into easel and I'm not going to show those steps but I will link to another video that I've done so I'm going to go ahead and bring the fish into the window at this time. Now that I have my fish in my design area I'm going to go ahead and set him out of the way and I'm going to be working with these two items to begin with. The first thing I want to do right now I have this set at a 90 degree bit. I don't want to work in that to be able to design. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a 16 inch bit for now. And we'll do our design work with that. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and work with the circle. And I have this lock for the diameter. And I'm going to select this circle to be 8 inches. So there is an 8 inch circle. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and set this up where it cuts on the outside and I'll just bring that down here. Now I'm going to select a banner and select a banner and I'm just going to stretch it and make it bigger and then I'm going to go ahead and slide it over in place yeah, I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And just for curiosity, let's see how the fish is going to be setting in there. Okay. That will be pretty good for right now. We're going to have to make it a little bit larger. Now that I have the banner and the circle where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and combine these. With everything highlighted, I'm going to go up to Edit, and I'm going to Combine. With my Combine, select Outline, and it's on the outside, and that gives me the shape that I'm looking for. The next thing I want to do is highlight this again, and we're going to go back to the apps. Going back to the apps this time, I'm going to use the Offsetter app this one right here and I want to have this distance at 0.5 and I want that to be able to go to the outside and then I'm going to import that into my drawing. Now then with that done the first one the original one I no longer need so I'm going to cut that out of my picture Okay, with this done now, I can go ahead and move this into place, highlighting everything, 
and we'll slide it up to about there. And now for the first time, I want to drag my fish in and see how that fits. Okay, it's a little bit small. So what I want to do is I still want to make that a little bit bigger. So we're going to highlight this. I'm going to keep my fish out of the way for a moment. Select this. And we'll grab this little box here and make everything larger. There we go. Now then, we'll slide my fish over and put him right about there. Now, the only thing that's left now is to put my letters into the drawing. Now that I have all my words selected and they're all at point one of an inch, the fish is at point one. This first inner ring is at point one of an inch depth, and this is at point three seven five. So I'm going to change this over now to a ninety degree bit, selecting that right there, and now we can come over and preview this. Now you can see where my V groove will cut into this and everything else will be cut at a shallower depth. We can generate the deep tail preview and we can see exactly what it's going to look like. One of the things I've noticed here is this top edge is getting too close. So what I'm going to do is highlight everything and then we can move it all down just a little bit. And I can also center everything to the material by selecting Edit, Center to Material, and then everything is completely centered. And I don't have to worry about missing an edge. So let's go ahead and generate the detail. And that sign looks quite nice. Now how long is it going to take to cut? We'll hit simulate and we'll be able to check that out. And it's going to take about 30 minutes to be able to carve. Not bad. What I will do is finish cutting the outer edge because I don't want that v-groove to go any deeper for that chamfer. And I'll cut the rest of this out on the bandsaw to finish the sign. I pulled the sign off of the CNC machine and after the sanding of the fish I think this looks quite nice. I took the sign over to the bandsaw and cut right along the bottom of the V groove to cut the sign out. The next step was to put two coats of the Danish oil on the sign and I think it has turned out quite nice. I made a last minute change that I wanted to share with you. I used a 60 degree bit to cut out the fish and then I switched over to a 90 degree bit to cut out everything else. I think this is going to make the perfect gift for my son. If you enjoyed this video today please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.